Okay, <laughs> we have a lot to get done in not that long a time because my white balance is off weight. Anyways, back to what I was saying. We have a lot to get done in not that long of time because your girl took a nap. <laughs> To be fair, I didn't wake up that early to begin with. It was like noon. And Adam and I went to this acai bowl place, which I already put in footage of that because he wanted an acai bowl and they have really good coffees, as you can tell. I haven't finished it. When we got back home, I was reading more of Alice in Wonderland and I don't know really what happened. This never really happens to me, but I was just like so in the nonsensical world that I started just being very confused. It just, everything got very surreal for me and I honestly just got really tired. Like it was like an exhausting read for my mind, which is weird because I'm liking it. It's, it's simplistic like in the way that it's straightforward, but since it's so nonsensical, like much more nonsensical than any of the movies have ever portrayed it to be, I was just at a loss. By the way, ignore my hair. It's, it's, it's doing its own thing right now. I got like halfway through and then I was like, I'm gonna read this in bed. And I just knocked out, like completely knocked out for four hours. <laughs> well, no, like three hours. And then the last hour was me just taking a shower and getting ready. <laughs> It's 6 p.m. I still need to upload my video from yesterday. Just finish up the last minute edits on it. I think that first what I'm gonna do is finish up Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. That way I have like at least one book done. And there is a lot to do today for this vlog specifically. I have to still do the reading rush tag. I have to still give you a book story, like a bookish story. And I have to unbox that box from last night. I have to finish this, I have to finish Cheese Sweet Home, and maybe get onto Uzumaki. We have to do that in like six hours. So, because I'm still hoping to end the readathon at 12, even though like I didn't start it at midnight my time. I definitely started it like 10 a.m. my time. So theoretically, if I wanted to do like the full seven days, I have until 7 a.m. tomorrow, but we'll see. Let's get to reading. I'm going to sit in my little reading chair, put on an ASMR room, I think. Maybe they have like an Alice in Wonderland ASMR room. And then we're gonna finish Alice's Adventures in Wonderland because it is a really fast read, but it's just so nonsensical. Like it's remarkable. It's it's weird, but I like it, but it's weird, you know? Okay, let's, let's read. I'm gonna actually finish up my coffee. And then upload the video. to have like a little bit of a wavy look while it dried. See, this looks very wavy, but listen, my hair's still wet. It's gonna fall completely flat by the end of this video. So, um, I don't know where, oh. I'm telling you, something about reading this like nonsensical world made my own head nonsense. I don't know where the correlation is. I don't know if that means I'm already a little bit nonsensical. That could make a ton of sense. Something about reading it made everything a little bit more nonsense for me, and I think I liked it. I will say, I feel like now I need to read through the looking glass because there were just things, like, I don't remember reading about Tweedledee or Tweedledum. I don't think it happened in this book. So that's really interesting just because that's such, like, a popular depiction in the movies. So maybe that's in Through the Looking Glass. I'm really not sure. Overall, I, I like 
liked it. You cannot look for sense in this. I feel like that is like the biggest part. While you're reading it, just you have to go with it. Which is kind of, I think, how Alice was like dealing with her time in Wonderland, but also she was a lot more out of her mind in the book than I ever saw her in the movies. And I thought that that was really cool. So I'm glad I read this. I'm really glad I read it. And I really liked this version. I think the art style is just so insidious and very Tim Burton, which makes me want to watch, honestly, the Tim Burton version of Alice in Wonderland later today, not like the Disney version. Well, they're both Disney, but not like the cartoon version. I'm gonna have to look for through the looking glass because I feel like that'll maybe make more sense. Uh, I hate talking about sense after watching this watching this book. Oh my goodness. Um, after reading this book. But I think that I'm gonna give it gosh, I'm really not sure. It's it's a strange experience because this is probably going to stick with me for a really long time. And in that sense, it's a five. I wanna give it a four though, just because it didn't make sense, but it's not supposed to make sense. <laughs> Guys, I'm losing it. Like I really am losing it. To be fair, it's day seven, but like also I'm just losing it. I think it's gonna be a five star. I just, I feel like, the thing is, I can't tell you what the thing is. I, I told you, I don't know what it is about reading, how nonsensical this was, but it has turned my mind into nonsense. I am very influenced by the books I read. I have discovered. Like yesterday, Queen of Nothing. I felt like a bad ass. I felt just like I can rule the world. If I cannot be better than them, I will be so much worse. That was my vibe. And today, I started my day kind of sleepy and it turned very surreal because of my reading experience with Alice in Wonderland. That's that. I will be finishing up the edits right now. It's 7.30 for my video so I can just post it. We can do maybe the Instagram post before that. Let's actually look at what that is. Gosh, guys, my mind is nonsense. Today, what is the challenge? Ooh, what happened with our book club? Mmm, interesting. Ooh, the tea. It's piping. Now I'm thinking about the Mad Hatter. Anyways, what is day seven? Challenge day seven, use your books to make an artwork. This is a chance to get really creative and be imaginative. Like, I'm gonna have to see what they're talking about. Like, in, in what way? Our, our artwork. How's everyone else doing this? Because I don't want to make a video. I struggled. Yeah, everyone's kind of struggling, huh? Oh, that's cute. Like a little deck of cards. Bullet journal. Yeah. Someone literally made artwork out of their book. That was how I would have taken it, very literally. But I don't want to do that. It looks like this can really be... T oh, I love this. Oh, oh, okay, wait, that gave me an idea. And this is gonna take me so long! Guys, I don't have time for this! I really want to do something similar to, like, Alice in Wonderland. I... Gosh, wow. Okay, it is a five star because this has like literally just ingrained itself in how like I'm seeing the world right now. So it has to be a five star. Like a life altering book should be a five star, even if I didn't understand it. Like you don't have to understand something to realize that it's important. Life Lessons with Brittany. I kind of want to do something where it's like I'm opening the book and the world is like nonsensical. Like I'd probably have to transport this picture into procreate. I kind of want like half of the world to make sense and half of the world to not make sense. So in that sense, maybe like having it open to a page where there is artwork on one side and there isn't on the other, or like just split it straight down the middle. Hmm. Oh, okay, wait, this is an exciting one, but it's gonna take me a long time. So first and foremost, I think I should take the picture. But once the picture is taken, I can finish the edits on my video and upload, do all the things, read Cheese Sweet Home. That's like the biggest part. So I also kind of want to update my journal. Let's do that really fast because I didn't end up doing it last night. So let's update the journal. I'm gonna bring you in. I hope this is a pretty cool angle, but oh, this way. I still have to make some kind of video where I'm doing this page, guys. Don't worry if you watch my bullet journal video, I have not forgotten and I still wanna make an artwork. I just, just haven't gotten around to making it yet, but I definitely want to do it before the end of the month. So for yesterday, let's actually do a montage.
So I just finished uploading and doing all the social media with my video. It's 10.30, so we don't have long to finish Cheese Sweet Home, but luckily I brought it into the room. So yeah, I'm still kind of debating because I know that I started my reading rush late, so I'm almost like I want to end it late if that makes sense, but I need to go back and see what time I started it. And we'll just see, we'll just see after this. If I finish this, I finished it, you know what I mean? And I'll just keep trying to do stuff. I kinda wanna read it on the floor, is that weird? Let's just do it. Oh, and we still have to do the Instagram post for today. I'm gonna read at least half of this, see where what time it is, and then try and get that Instagram post. But I feel like the Instagram post is gonna take me a while, so it might just be something that I do after the reading is done. And it's 11.53, yes. All right, let's do a little update. I just finished Cheese Sweet Home, which I'm holding upside down. And it was so cute. It actually flew by because I was kind of nervous for a minute there. I thought I was taking so long reading it and then I was like, oh, it's only been 20 minutes. That's pretty cool. But it did end up taking all the way until right now, like 11.53. I loved it, it was so cute. Like very, very precious, but also pretty sad. She went through it in this book, but it's it's fine. I mean, I liked it. I feel like I want to give it a four or a five. I was really entertained, actually. I thought I wasn't going to be because, I don't know, I feel like there's only so much you can do from a kitten's perspective, but I was so entertained. I think it's going to be a five star. I'm too generous with that, with a five star. Yeah, but it was. It was definitely. Okay, it was. I went through the emotions, you know. Wow, so I completed all the, the book challenges. So now it's time to actually try and get my bookstagram picture up even though it's already basically midnight. Oh, and we have to do the reading rush tag. I have to unbox the fabled merch thing and a favorite book story. God, the book story is the hard one, you know? I definitely have good book stories, but I just am totally blanking on literally every single one of them. I'm gonna try and take my bookstagram picture and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna think of my favorite book story and then we'll, or actually I wanna unbox the fabled merch thing. Okay. I'll decide in a moment. <laughs> I'm having a kind of crazy idea right now. Mostly because I just know it's going to take me so long to do my bookstagram challenge. This year's booktubeathon has been weird, you know? Like, I haven't been going by the rules anyway. I think that I want to maybe try and stay up as late as possible, read as much as I can, because I really want to get to like Uzumaki. I, I don't know why, like I just want to read that or Dark Dawn. I haven't decided. I'm just like not ready for it to be over yet. And I still need to do my tag. I still need to do a bunch of things. So day one was the day that I ended up like not reading the things that I thought I was going to read. I picked up Dark Dawn when I was waiting to go get my blood work done, which means that I really actually started reading for the reading rush at three-ish, but I started my vlogs at two and I didn't do anything before that. So I think I'm gonna try and take this maybe, well, at least for the rest of the night, maybe not all the way to 2 p.m. tomorrow. I feel like that's excessive, you know, but we'll see. I'm going to actually then go right now to me and Adam's room because I wanna eat. Now that I have more time, I'm just gonna eat. I'm gonna chill. I wanna watch maybe a little bit of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. We're gonna, I think, watch the Tim Burton version with him. And then when he falls asleep, cause he falls asleep pretty early, then I'm gonna come back here and get to editing and stuff. This is a kind of, I'm excited. I don't know, this is like, it's different. It's different. Okay, I'm gonna peace out because otherwise this vlog is gonna be stupid long. Slight change of plans. Adam's already asleep. So I'm actually going to eat my Chipotle that he got me, watch a movie in here while I edit the picture. Then once the picture is posted, we're gonna do the reading rush tag. We're gonna unbox the thing. And then if I still have energy, we'll keep reading. But if not, we're closing out the vlog. <laughs> Cause I'm kind of sleepy. <laughs>
I don't want to talk about how long it took me to do that because I didn't realize how long it took me to do that until I looked up. I don't want to say what time it is. We're not going to talk about it. We're really just... Oh, the cats are fighting. We're just we're just going to move on. And I'm going to finish up this, this read-a-thon really quickly because... <laughs> wait okay so the things that i still have to do one of my favorite book stories like this one is probably one of the harder ones because i really cannot for the life of me think of a good book story um okay actually i have one this isn't really a story either okay i'm just gonna say it really fast basically when i was little i would always or not little 11 ish i would always steal my mom's books I would steal them because I would want to read more and we normally read just young adults so like she would read like the house of night is that what it was called marked series but anyways we would read like those books together and we would read tons of vampire style stories together and one of her friends when I was an ice skater one of the moms she was reading the true blood series the Suki Stackhouse series and again I was like 11 12 and my mom started reading them and she wouldn't let me read it and i was so offended because we read everything together and plus she was keeping a vampire story away from me so lo and behold i just kind of snuck into the bookshelf that was out in the living room grabbed the books and read them for myself when i was like 11. and if you don't know anything about true blood it's pretty scandalous so I was reading romance pretty freaking young, but I didn't completely understand it. So for a really long time, because I had read the word reciprocate in one of the books and it had been used during a sexual encounter. <laughs> so for the longest time, I thought reciprocate meant something dirty and not what it means. And uh, that's going to be my, my story. I feel like that's that's awful <laughs> i bet you guys did not expect to hear that today but here we are <sighs> okay i still need to do the reading rush tag which is called the racing to read tag and i have the questions up on my ipad so let's just go so it says warm up a book that stretches your mind for this one i'm going to go with it because it's still so fresh in my mind i'm going to go with alice in wonderland even though like it's not something that i it, i don't know if it was supposed to stretch your mind or not but it definitely stretched my mind and made me like think about the world in a slightly different way i have tons of answers for this kind of question though but this one's the freshest one start line what's a book that you started but never finished oh i have quite a few on my list right now orange by Ichigo Takano. I started this in May for the Asian readathon and I never finished it. I actually had thought that I might want to pick it up during this readathon, but I didn't. Sprint, a book you read really quickly. Um, did I read that fast? I cannot remember. Let's do non readathon books. A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. I feel like that one's an obvious one. I just could not put it down. It was so good. Marathon, what's your favorite long book? I kind of just held it up. Well, okay, actually, I've talked about this, but it's a new favorite, Crescent City, or House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. It is my new favorite Sarah J. Mass book for sure, and it's thick. Honestly, though, I love big books, so that one's kind of... Mm. Hurdles, what's a book that had ups and downs? I have to think, I have to think. My finger's numb. I can always tell if I was drawing for too long if my finger is numb. What book had its ups and downs? That's such a weird question. Okay, um, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Because overall, I did really like that book, but I definitely felt like, mm, about it the entire time. Finish Line, a book you were proud to finish. There's a lot of these, actually. I'm gonna go with The Fellowship of the Ring because I read that last year and I have had that book on my shelf for forever. My dad bought it for me when I first started really reading fantasy when I was, like, 13 so I was really proud when I finally finished that book. Gold medal best book you've read during a readathon. <sighs> I don't know during a readathon all I can remember is this readathon. What have I read in previous years during this readathon? I know I read God's Grave when it was still called book two bathon. I read God's Grave and I really loved that. What other books have I read during readathons? I've read a ton of books during readathons. I'm gonna go with God's Grave though. Participation Ribbon, an underrated book you wish got more attention. I'm so bad at these kinds of underrated book ones. The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. I feel like that book is never talked about in general. Oh, no, 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 you know? <laughs> it's weird because this is like half underrated, half overrated because of like all the mixed reviews, but The Gilded Wolves is also on this list, but The Merciful Crow specifically because I never hear anything about it. And I do think that it was a really, really quality novel and it had a really great magic system. 
So I think that's it. So let's do a little wrap up of the readathon. Actually, we'll do that after I do my unboxing. The box. Let me grab a knife. Oh, is that not like an opening? Where's the opening? I just need to open this, please, so I can go to bed or maybe read. I'm still, I'm weirdly not tired. This happens sometimes. If I stay up really late drawing, which is what I was doing, I like lose all sense of tiredness. And honestly, I probably should stay up all night to try and fix my sleep schedule because I've been going to bed at four slash 5 a.m. for the past like month. Can't be good for me. Ooh, first things first. Is this like Saran Wrapped? Okay. What did I get? I just remembered what I got. I got the Witcher box from Fabled Birch. Like I bought it and look at this freaking print. <laughs> this might be like the coolest thing I own. Look at that. Holy, holy crap. I am obsessed with that. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna set that down. Ooh, what's in this? It's like a little tote. Oh my god. And we have, oh, he's not called Dandelion in the show, but it's Dandelion from the books. And then we have Geralt, and we have Roach on the bag. Oh, she deserves all her rights. Oh my god, it's a puzzle. Oh, it's gonna be this. Oh, I love puzzles. Okay, that's cool. Look at this box. Oh gosh, I almost dropped everything. But look how cool this is. Geralt and Yennefer and Ciri and Geralt on Roach. This box is wicked cool. Oh my gosh, and that must be... Why am I forgetting what it's called? Because it's 6 a.m. Oh, I just told you what time it is. Welcome, you know, his, his place of training. Oh my god, I am blanking. We're just gonna ignore that for right now. And there's this. This is the only other thing in the box. Exciting things. Mug. I must admit, I kind of had my suspicions. Oh, this is nice. People like to invent monsters and monstrosities. Then they seem less monstrous themselves. Oh, that is a nice mug. And let's open up the box. I think this is just the candles, so that's gonna be cool. Toss a coin to your witcher. Oh, I love that. Oh, I was gonna say I didn't get the enamel pins, but it was right there in the box. Oh, these are so cool. It's Siri and Geralt. Look how big that is. It's ginormous. And that was designed by Jez Hawk. The puzzle and book pouch were designed by Kirsty.carter.art. Color changing mug. Ooh, sweet. Is designed by Stella Books Art. Geralt Siri and Yen holographic poster was designed by BX Romance. Character cards, I'm assuming they're in the box, are designed by BX Romance as well. So we have the candles. Oh my gosh, this one's Geralt of Rivia. It's a black candle. That's pretty sick. <laughs> it's, hmm. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Oh, it smells like a man. That's how Geralt would smell. Well, that is not how Geralt would smell. He'd probably smell dirty, but if he took a bath, which he does all the time with Yennefer, this is what he'd smell like. Sexy. Ooh, we have a lavender candle, and it's Yennefer, and it's whatever you lack in talent you make up for in confidence. Ooh, is that lilac and gooseberries? Because, oh my god, I love it. I've never known what gooseberries are supposed to smell like, and now that I do, I love Yennefer. We have Cirilla. People linked by destiny will always find each other. Oh, that's a soft smell. I love this. This is very my, like, speed. And then we have Northern Realms, which is Coastal Sage, Chris Bergamot, and Floral. Mmm. Oh yeah, super beachy. I don't love it, but during a bath. Cool, and now let's grab the character cards, which seem to be under all the little peanuts, and I don't want to like drop any of these styrofoam peanuts, because the cats. <laughs> Guys, you're just seeing a whole other side of me, because first I tell you my whole reciprocate story, and now... <laughs> Yen's in a bath. Oh my god, is the other one gonna be Geralt in a bath? <laughs> I didn't know I needed this. Like, I really, I didn't think, this was not something that I ever was like, that's what I need about The Witcher. But now I have it. 
this is where we're at tonight and a bookmark and it says the girl in the woods will be with you always she is your destiny and the other side is evil is evil lesser greater whittling makes no difference oh i like this i like the texture or my fingers are numb could be possible how is this update 16 minutes i hate that that was it i have officially completed the reading rush i still need to tally like my page numbers but let's go over the books that i read i did end up reading eight books because i did read little black book but for read a book that cover that matches the color of your birthstone i read witchy gave it four stars for read a book that starts with the word the i read the psychopath test gave it three stars read a book inspired by a movie you've already seen i read alice's adventures in wonderland five stars read the first book you touch i read she's sweet home five stars read a book completely outside of your house i read i hope this reaches her in time two stars read a book in a genre you want to read more of i read unfuck yourself which i gave three stars and then read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live i read the queen of nothing five stars definitely my favorite book of the readathon was queen of nothing hands down but alice's adventures in wonderland is close second and chief sweet home was precious so i am going to insert everything on the computer because i haven't done that yet and then we'll get our badges and then this vlog is done love that for us not that i haven't had tons of fun but you know it's 6 a.m if you don't believe me up. I'm honestly mad at myself. All right, let's see the results. Also, I really didn't even kind of do anything with my page, but there's that. I didn't participate in a Twitter sprint, which would have been pretty easy, but I forgot. Didn't do the book club, didn't even know what was going on until, you know, today. And didn't participate in a read and live show. Didn't even see one, but yeah, we did it. I really don't like how the website's set up this year, if I'm gonna be honest. I like last year's a little bit better. And I read a total of 1,877 pages. Yay! And for the more aesthetic version, my journal's all filled out. Love that. I'm done. We did it, but listen guys, it is 6.22 in the a.m. I have a work call at noon. I'm probably not sleeping. Expect like maybe a reading vlog for me this week because um, I still have to do that page with you guys. I'm watching Alice in Wonderland. Okay, good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Or do, you know, not my place.